What's up, YouTube world? It's just sitting here. It's Sunday night. I have a transporter it's supposed to be coming. It's like 8.30 now. It's cold. I don't turn my heat on here as I'm sitting here. I should have. Waiting for a transporter that called me early that said I'll be there like 8, 9 o'clock. So I'm just waiting around for him to drop a car off. Uh, I got a car that I'm really excited about. Never had something like this, which is kind of cool. It's a GM front-wheel drive sedan, but... So I'm just waiting here all by myself uh, for that car to show up. And once it does, I will go home. But I'm trying to be extra courteous to my truck driver here because it's... You know, I know they're on time schedules and whatnot, so I'm trying to get this done for him so he can get on his way and maybe make his next stop earlier. So I'm just going to wait around. And while I sit here and wait for the car to get dropped off, uh, I just want to get everybody up to speed of uh, what's going on. 2021, I'm looking to build my channel a lot bigger. Uh, I thank everybody who's climbed on board, new subscribers, and all my new followers. Uh, but I'm looking to not only do my videos of cars for sale all the time, but that kind of gets boring that it's the same clean cars all the time. So, well, I do appreciate everybody who tunes in for that weekly, um, you know, all these cars that I sell, you know, that those, that's what's built my channel, which is great, but... I want to show some behind the scenes stuff, more adventure, more fun, more, hey, how I got this. Hey, my heartache and my troubles of buying this or what happened when this showed up. Uh, it's not all peaches and cream, as we'll say. So while I wait here, I just thought I'd give you a little public service announcement as I wait for my car to be delivered. It's 1030. He was supposed to be here at 10. Tried texting him, no response. Phone call, no response. Here we go. And this is why I don't wait for truck drivers, because it's 12.01. He was supposed to be here by 10. I texted him a little while ago. I said, where are you? He says, I'm going to be later. Maybe I'll see you in the morning. I'm like, okay. I haven't just been waiting here this whole time. So... We'll see if it's here tomorrow morning. That's my life. Here it is. It's now Monday morning. So these transporters, I don't know if they showed up last night or not. I left a checkout on my door in the event that they did. Haven't heard from anybody today. It's, you know, like I said, 10.30ish. So we'll see if these people drop this car off. I, I get it. Everybody's in a rush, you know time of the year it's you know the week of christmas uh and that's why i try to be very flexible with these guys you know but uh, i think the common courtesy is you know phone calls and planning but again i understand they're on the road uh you know timing is can get set off by one customer not showing up or having a problem with the truck so i'm not too hot on them but we'll see if the car showed up here uh, i think you guys are gonna like it it's something you know i, I appreciate these cars i've never had one before first i've ever had one of these things uh it's definitely a rare piece for gm uh, so let me see if it's here and it is not oh no it is here <laughs> oh hello there she is it is here and look at what we got here at specialty motor cars 1992 cadillac sedan deville this is the touring sedan Pretty unique car, uh, really. I don't think they made a lot of these. This was kind of like, I guess you could call this the first official DTS. But yeah, they must have dropped it off here at some point last night. This car was a West Virginia car. As you can see, still got the plate on it. I don't know if that plate belongs to this car or not. I'm not sure. But white car with like a camel-ish leather interior yep very touring sedan -y. uh a couple things i already knew about this car obviously it needs a headliner have to do a headliner to it very common that the gm headliners come down you know but it's a rust-free 
West Virginia car. You can see how nice those uh, touring alloy wheels are. Some special things with the touring. You know, a lot of body colored stuff like the door handles. These mirrors look a little funky. Very funky to be honest with you. Uh, it's got the touring emblem on the side here. A couple little marks we'll touch up on the bumper. See if we can polish these up. Uh, it's got the touring emblem on the grill instead of the stand-up hood ornament, which is kind of cool. Um, mileage on this car. Know, looks like it hasn't been inspected in about four years. And the keys for this thing are supposed to be under yep, under the mat. Ooh, I wonder what this is. A little recliner. Let's see. Oh, what this thing's got for mileage. I think it was low 70s. Let's see if she starts. Uh, oh, she started. <laughs> yes. Uh, mileage, 74,690. That battery's got to be real weak. Take a look under the hood. Got the Delco Bose sound system. Close the trunk. Take a look inside this thing. See the saddle interior. It's got that GM headliner. Look at that. Factory floor mats. Does have, looks like a full size spare. Pretty mint wheel. Ugh. Probably though. Still, yep, brand new donut under there. That's cool. All the trunk carpeting looks nice. I like that full size spare. Take a look under the hood. Got the 4.9 in it. Hood release. Where are you, hood release? What's going on here? Oh, right here, I think. Yep. Oh, boy. Hood pistons. Need replacing. Battery from 14, yeah, and it's probably not used to the fold up here. 4.9. Seems to be running all right. Let's take it for a little bit of a spin, I guess. Ooh. Yeah, I like this. This is a nice little car. Yeah, let's take it for a spin. Uh, seeing it around my dirty Escalade. I love looking down the hoods of these, those uh, sights on the hood, on the top of the fenders. Uh, let's take this one for a spin here. I like the steering wheel, it's different, not like the normal tissue box style. It looks like it's got a little bit of a squeak to it, but. Oh, yeah. Which one's good? I feel bad driving it in this weather, but back and get a nice wash done on it. See what this 4.9 is all about. These mirrors, are these mirrors touring? Because I didn't remember the other ones collapsing. These ones collapse. And you can see that they collapse. It's kind of different. Let's go. Oh yeah. She's got some gu uh, guts to it. <laughs> Headline is sagging in the breeze. Well, she drives pretty good. Sounds like it's got a little bit of a front wheel bearing. Good way to hear that. You can kind of hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera. 
but you go back and forth with the wheel a little bit. I say left front wheel bearing is good. Yeah. She's a Hummer. Not bad. Probably got some old gas in it. I'll probably run this for a few days and put some injector cleaner through it. Run a tank of gas through it. I don't know if that's reading right. Seven gallons left. But it's probably seven gallons of at least five-year-old gas given that sticker on it. So, um, yeah, we'll get it back to the shop. Get it washed up. We'll take a look and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Touring for 1992. Just when you thought your DeVille wasn't sporty enough. These seats are mega comfy, though. Anybody ever have one of these things? Tell me what you think down below in the comments, because... I've never had a touring sedan. I've only had a few of these front wheel drive DeVilles. Uh, so this is kind of new territory, not new territory, but uncommon territory, we'll say. Uh, but touring, I don't know how many of these were ever made. I knew it was kind of rare. It's one of the reasons why I bought it. But um, I like it. it. Goes down the road all right. Ooh, baby. their own that's for sure and i haven't driven one of these front wheel drive to fills in a long time with the 490 all right we're back i have that one as a parts car but All right, let's give her a little wash. And see what she looks like after she's all. Just gave it a real quick wash. You can see it's a lot prettier washed. Look at chrome on this thing. The chrome is real nice. Bumper, real clean. The grill's beautiful. And just look at the face bar on it. How nice and shiny that is. All around the headlights, the sun glistening on it. I like this car. Gonna need some tires. I'm going to assume these tires are 225, 60, 16. I'll have to look up the date code on them, but they're probably old. I would have to guess, but she's a pretty little thing. It's good all washed up. Touring sedan, my DTS. I need a little bit of a tune-up, I don't know, old gas. Now well, tell me guys tell me what you guys think down below. Pass, fail. What do you think? Cool car, not cool car. Glorified DeVille with some special badges. I don't know. Owner's manual in here. Uh, let's see. DeVille maintenance guy. GMAC lease car originally. Nothing touring specific in there. Got the little litter bin. Garage door opener. This is pretty cool. A lot of people don't know. Inside there. This little guy. Slides in. What that's for. Yeah, I like it. It's a nice car. Touring. Tell me what you think below. Thanks everybody for watching. So here's another example of how these truck drivers are that deliver cars, assuming that people are just there when they're ready to come. Um, I got the, the Cadillac delivered this morning and I just saw something else pass me as I'm halfway home, going through downtown traffic here. Uh, I caught it in the glimpse of my rearview mirror. 
these guys drive me absolutely crazy now this is the one i was talking about earlier where i had a customer who i bought this car from this guy was supposed to show up on tuesday he didn't show up till friday oh my goodness now he just shows up to my shop hey i'm here you're not yeah i know i drove by you now i'm here she is. This guy parked in the middle of the road. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go deal with them. And there they go. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness, hello. Fresh off the truck. Number two for the day. This is a 1997 Lincoln Town Car Cartier with 44,000 miles. And let's put some heat on here because it is oh, defrost. Emergency brake, these idiots all use emergency brake. Never use an emergency brake on the car. Oh, boy. This thing is all fogged up. Can't even see it on the windows. Unless I left the window out on the outside. It's crazy. Oh my god, this car is beautiful. Heated seats, no sunroof, surprisingly. Glad I turned around for this one. Uh, let me get some lights on here. Hello! Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this sweet treat, huh? She's dirty. She's a dirty girl, but she's a clean girl. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. Man, the top's mint on this thing. Cartier, in case you forget. Lighted light bar in the back. A little muddy, but see if the gasket or something's falling out of this thing. We'll get that fixed up, no problem. Oh my goodness, look at these seats. Gorgeous. Ashtrays, at least on this side it works. Wow, this is a nice car. Wow, this is a nice car. Pop that guy out. Books, got the title, nice. Wow. Toothpicks. Wow, this is a nice car. No cell phone. The keys, got all the keys. I love this beautiful wood. Wow, 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 wow. Well, so that's the woes and troubles of car shipping. <laughs> I guess I feel bad for my customer on the other end. I'm gonna have to send her like an edible arrangements. Or something because she wasted two days windows down she wasted two days waiting around for this guy obviously he doesn't want to use a phone oh, see and that's why i like to be thorough window junk 
This one works. This is a clip there, but I have those in stock. Um, you know, little stuff. I don't really blame my customers. This car was inherited. You know, little stuff like that they don't think of. You know, window not working, but so where's all this stuff falling out from? What is this? Oh, GPS. Let's see what's in the trunk. We got some more chrome fender trim. Nice. Full size spare. Yep. CD changer. I like it. Cartier. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, two for today. 92, don't mind my mess. Sedan DeVille Touring and a 97 Lincoln Town Car Cartier with 44,000 miles. Yeah, this is a nice piece. I like this car. This is a car I might keep.